Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your August readings. Um, I just want to be on top of them for the month because I had such a lot on, so um, I won't blurb on for too long. Let's get stuck straight in, shall we? This is for the sign of Aries. Aries, first of all, just a quick thank you to say I appreciate you being on my channel. Thank you for subscribing to me. Um, let's get a better view. Okay. I don't want to see too much of me. It's not necessary while I'm in my little fairy gown. Uh, <laughs> keep him warm in the cold weather. Okay, remember the readings are general. If they don't resonate, you can move on to another reader or check out other aspects of your natal chart. Um, I am using the Everyday Witch Tarot. And we did have the Six of Cups and Queen of Swords coming out. So somebody's coming back from your past with the truth there. Um, and I will pull your card from the Animal Spirit Guidebook for this month. Okay, let's see where we're up to for Aries. Oh, okay, so you could be dealing with an Earth sign Aries. So this Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, this person is probably quite a little bit money focused, but they're very down to earth and very uh, direct, basic, organised, highly structured. Um, if they're requesting a relationship from you, they probably have thought it out very well. Um, whatever this person wants from you, they will approach it in a way that's very practical. Um, okay, so we do have the Empress coming out. So it could mean that this person is the energy of the Empress, which means that they are coming um, absolutely brimming over with love, ready to make a brand new start here. Or this could be representing your energy here. So it could be that you're very much about... Um... Okay, we've got Six of Cups as well. Hang on, let's just get the fourth card and I'm going to go straight in here with the Queen of Swords, which came out in the beginning. Some of you have someone that you're either in love with or you have a very strong connection with from your past that wants to speak a truth. Now, remember the readings do flip-flops. It could be the other way around where you want to declare something to a person who's quite earthy um, about a love you have for them. Um, this love you are feeling for them with this empress is very pure and very true. Um, but I don't think they know about it yet with this Queen of Swords here. So I think that you're about to either give them that um, story or they're about to give it to you. There's something coming up in August where someone either discloses how they feel about you or you're about to do that to someone else. We do have the Seven of Wands coming in here. So the Seven of Wands talks about standing your ground and defending yourself. Um... It could be that that's you or the other person, but we'll get a bit more energy here. Uh, Ten of Cups coming out. So all your ducks in a row, Aries. So you're really um, feeling very good about things here. Page of Pentacles, but you really don't know how to go about this or this other person doesn't. King of Swords coming in. So definitely ready to speak truth to put things on the line, to forge forward, to forge a partnership here. You can see huge potential with this person. But there's this defensive energy coming through. Okay, let's keep going. King of Cups coming out. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So I have to say we have three kings in this reading. We have a King of Cups, a King of Swords, and a King of Pentacles in the beginning there. The only king we don't have here is the King of Wands, and he represents the fire signs. So if he comes out, I'll... Oh, well, I was going to say there he is, it isn't, it's the emperor. Somebody you see as your counterpart here um, with the empress in the beginning. I feel like they're either in a different relationship or you are. I'll get some more cards because I can feel it, but I haven't quite got it. The temperance card coming in here. So we are looking for balance. Okay, all right, seven of swords. Now I've got it. Here's your leap of faith. Okie dokie. All right, and there's celebration here. Could be third party too. Aries, either you or this other person or both of you are in another relationship here. 
I feel like somebody, there's the King of Wands right behind them all. We had all four kings in this reading. Um, I feel like you're in love with someone who may be in another relationship or and you're in a relationship as well. Now, it could be that that's one or the other or it could be both. But I have a feeling here you've either come back towards someone from your past or you've encountered someone from a past time, place. Could be a past life person. But there's this energy here that you just want to throw caution to the wind and take a leap of faith with this person. Now, some of you could already be in I don't want to say in a relationship, but you already may have had an encounter here because there's this feeling here that you're keeping a secret. I really believe that this person is your right person, the one you've met, um, but you do have a very strong relationship here. Now, if this is a work situation, um, it could be that you're in partnership with someone that hasn't been working out so well and you may want to bring someone new into the fold. But there's a definite feeling of bringing something new in here because things haven't gone the way you've wanted them to. The universe is trying to guide you in the right direction here. And they're talking about you finding balance because there's abundance here for you. But you've got to find your own balance here first. I have a feeling that you're feeling quite like you're doing something wrong here. Um and I, I'm not anyone to judge and I'm certainly not judging anyone for feeling like they need to go in another direction. But if it's the case, remember then, you know, if you're going to take a leap of faith, if you're going to move in a different direction, make sure you cut off all the ties to the other things first so that nobody um, gets involved in whatever it is you want. Um, but definitely this feeling that the universe is driving you here to find a sense of balance, to really sit in your own space before moving this thing forward. If it's a case that you haven't met this person yet, um, it could be that you meet someone that's married. You could be married and meet someone who's married. Or you could be single and meet someone's married, vice versa. It's all over the place here. So I feel like with this new wave of twin flames coming in or soulmates coming in from the past and this Mercury retrograde at the moment, there's this feeling that a lot of people are sort of getting caught up in putting things right from the past, um, that things were left unspoken, things were left undone. And it's all over this Aries reading that people have got unfinished business here to resolve. There is celebration at the end. There is a leap of faith here. So no matter which way you go, Aries, you're going to take a plunge here um, and go for what you want. And what you want is obviously your your counterpart with the emperor and the empress coming up in this reading. But in terms of who they are, what sign they are, um, very likely a water sign um, or an earth sign or someone who's earthy with a lot of water or vice versa. Um, this other energy I think you're holding on to with this swords is a truth that needs to be spoken and an offer that's being made uh, in truth. Oh, that card definitely wanted to come out there. We have the card of the oyster. I'm just getting used to these cards. So I think with no line on the, the air, there it is. Okay. I think I need to have them it's a water sign because you've got a water a water I thought it might have been a water with an earth sign but they're not in alphabetical order here which makes it a little bit more complex but I'll get there I think I'll get there I can't find it isn't that weird I cannot find it oh there it is okay a little hard to find the focus and determination of the oyster is unmatched. Anything an oyster personality puts their mind to, they achieve with grace and charm. The only problem is oyster types often take their inner gifts for granted. They become shy or doubtful and this can lead to withdrawing or protecting their deepest desires and life's work. When the oyster card appears, it's important to reveal your inner treasures. What is it you've been hesitant to share? The world is waiting to see. I've got to say, I think it's about loving someone. 
I think that you're either in love with someone or someone's in love with you and I think that oyster is just pretty much coming out and saying that you need to reveal it. Aries, have a fantastic August.